what's up, y'all? It's me, Nate Almighty, and I'm back with another Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Season 3, Theory and Prediction video. And today, my theory presents undeniable proof that Unique will be returning as Breeze in Season 4 of Raising Canaan. And trust me, this information you have not come across yet, so you have no choice but to stay until the end of the video. But likely... Unique will come back as Breeze, but only briefly as a setup for Season 5. This theory will address and debunk anyone who says Unique can't be Breeze only because of his up-and-coming tour schedule. Yeah, we blowing that right out the ocean. And I will also use a scene from Power Book 2 Ghosts to justify every view I have on this subject. Now this video is going to be another banger. So go ahead and like this video. And subscribe to this channel. So y'all can get this fire every day. Also. Being that BMF season 3 is coming. If you guys want to work with me on some content. For season 3 of BMF. Feel free to contact me. On Instagram as Nate underscore almighty underscore GDA. Or hit me up on gmail n.almighty1991 at gmail so we can get together and work on some content for season three of bmf now without further ado let's get to it all right now y'all so let's break it down like this now for those of you who haven't yet viewed my opinion from my video from yesterday in which i stated and shared a leaked photo of joey badass seemingly on the film set but not dressed as the unique we're used to seeing him be, with the flashy clothing and jewelry indicating his transformation from Unique to Breeze. I express how this does entail that Unique will be returning as Breeze next season, and we can expect him to kill Ronnie during this season's finale, being that it would have been about two months since his attack, two months and some change. And trust me, as someone who still wants D Wiz brother to appear as Breeze and wreak havoc on the Thomas family, and as someone who refuses, absolutely outright refuses, niggas, to accept Ronnie as our Breeze, the more I look into it, and the longer they go without showing us Unique's body, the more I have no choice but to lean in the direction of Unique actually being Breeze himself. Let me ask you guys something. Any other show, cartoon, anything, or movie that you have seen, every time you've seen someone who looked like they got killed and they came back later, you typically did not see the body pop up or you did not see them die on screen. It was only said that they died, right? Remember that. And with what I present, and with that, I present what currently would be the biggest evidence of proof that Unique is Breeze, regardless of what the showrunners and Joey Badass is being paid to tell us. And I'm going to reference a moment from season one of Book Two Ghosts that will make you definitely believe that Unique will return as Breeze in season four, even if it's meant for him to show up only momentarily. Now, the evidence I'm presenting is based off of what Joey Badass stated in an interview after episode 5 when Unique was allegedly killed. Because we're doing definite air quotes on that, right? At no point did Joey say, yeah, Unique is dead dead and will never come back. Thanks, stars, for an incredible journey. We didn't see him say that. Also... It was said that Joey couldn't do the show because he has to go on tour. I'ma crush that theory. If you're familiar with the typical length of a rapper's tour, most of them only last a month to three months, right? They will usually last longer if it's like a situation like Beyonce or Taylor Swift or somebody where they're going on a worldwide tour, including a European leg of their tour. 
Joey Badass has not done that. And we know Joey Badass isn't the most commercial artist. So how long do y'all expect his tour to really be? Right? Right? Plus, he hadn't started his tour at the time of his tour announcement. Every winter so far, Raising Canaan has started filming for its new season, The Winter Before. And they are all definitely filming season four right now as we speak, right? How do I know this for sure? Two weeks ago, I seen an interview with Malcolm Mays who plays the character of Lou Thomas. And he stated they were currently filming season four this winter. And during this exact same interview, the guy who played Marvin Thomas was with him sharing the interview and confirming with him that they were currently shooting season four right now. This means Lulu makes it to season four also. So with all this information, plus the leaked photos of Joey Badass on set, means Joey likely already finished filming his scenes for season four as Breeze before episode five of this season even air. Boom, 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 is what I'm trying to tell you, niggas. Plus, if he was paid to do season four and still has tour, if he isn't meant to have a big role in season four, all he would have to do is film his scenes soon as he got off tour. But if he's not meant to have a big role and only be seen in season four, right? That would mean that it would definitely be easy for him to film those scenes before he even made his interview statement saying that he has to go on tour so he can't be Breeze, okay? And the fact that Unique's body is not found. Plus, he's the most likable character in the show opposite Marvin Thomas. Plus, the weird fact that Unique and Kanan never even had one word of dialogue, but their lives were changed drastically, even up to now, in the current Raising Kanan timeline, because of each other. I can't shake the feeling that Unique's story is not yet over. We have seen characters in power survive crazier things than blunt force trauma to the skull. Need I remind you all, in season one of Ghost, we all seen Tommy drive headfirst into a giant explosion and come out unharmed like he was Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious or something. It's obvious the writers plan to use Unique's head injury as what adds on to his character personality as Breeze. This is something a lot of people are overlooking because we already know that when it comes to people who end up being like serial killers or they get their brains examined from being killers, a lot of times they say that they suffer blunt force trauma as a youth and that may be what led to their crazy actions as an adult, right? In essence, making him a different character than the unique we all have come to know and love. There are plenty ways Joey can be a rapper and still be Breeze. Now let's argue in the comment section if you still disagree with all this undeniable proof. <laughs>